Hey everyone and thank you for joining us for week two of our series on the fruits of the spirit. Now last week I taught you about the fruit of joy and today we'll be going through the fruit of love. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that you have given us the spirit which gives us love, which gives us joy. We thank you that we can remember that you love us. Help us to continue to love other people. Help us continue to be patient in loving other people. And help us to love everybody this week, our families, our friends, even our neighbors that we cannot see. Help us to continue to love you as well. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Now what is love? Love is something that you tell to somebody, something that you show to them when you care for them. Your parents tell you that they love you. Your parents show you that they love you by what they do for you, that they care for you, they provide for you, they give you food, they've given you a home and clothing. And all of these things show that they love you. Now, God loves us as well. And we hear this a lot, especially in the Bible. We know that God is love and God loves us. And so how did God show us that he loves us? God showed us that he loves us by sending his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to earth to show us how to live and to die for us on the cross and to be raised again from the grave. And God showed us his love in that so that we can join him in heaven, so that we can be with him. And so when we accept Jesus Christ into our lives, then we are filled with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gives us the fruit of love so that we can show it and tell it to other people as well. People like our families, our friends, even our neighbors. We can show them and tell them that we love them. Now, we love because God first loved us. And because God loves us, we need to show other people that we love them. We need to show them God's love. And we can do this in different kinds of ways. We can call somebody that we care about. We can send them a message and tell them that we are thinking of them and that we love them. We can make a card for our parents where we tell them that we love them. We can do so many things. We can help with the cooking. We can help with the laundry. We can help and clean our own rooms. And that shows our parents that we love them. Now, sometimes it's not very easy to show other people that we love them. We can get very irritated and annoyed at other people. We can even be hurt by other people. But the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 tells us how to love, it tells us what love is. And it says, love is patient. And so when you get annoyed, just remember that love is patient. And if you love somebody, then you become patient. Love is kind. Love doesn't want to hurt anybody. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Love is not rude. So love is very nice, right? Love is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. And sometimes we can get angry very quickly. But love reminds us that we must not be easily angered. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. And so when we love somebody, we do not laugh at them when something bad happens to them. We do not become rude. Love always protects. Love always trusts. Love always hopes. And love always perseveres. And love never fails. And so whenever we, we think that we cannot love somebody, we can just remember this. We can remember that love is patient. We can remember that love is kind. We can remember that love is not easily angered. 
And so if we remember these things, then it'll be much easier to love other people. And so for this week, I've made something, a little craft that you can hang on your door or by the window or somewhere in your room or in the house to remind you what love is. The first one is a heart that says, God is love. And remember that God is love. And God showed us his love by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross. The second one, the second heart, says we love because he first loved us and that he is God. And so we are able to love because God first loved us. The third heart says love one another. And this reminds us that no matter what, we must love one another. We must love the people that hurt us, even though it's not easy. We must love our parents. We must love our friends. We must love our neighbors. We must love our enemies. And this is not easy, but with God, because God is love, we are able to show love to other people. We are able to love one another. And so for this week, I want you to remember that. Now last week, we learned the fruit of the Spirit is joy. And we had some actions that went with it. And it went as follows. The fruit of the Spirit is joy. Now today, we're going to add on love. And so we're going to say, the fruits of the Spirit is love and joy. Say it with me again. The fruits of the Spirit is love and joy. Now we're going to say that in a deep voice. Let's go deep. The fruit of the Spirit is love and joy. Now very high voice. How high is your voice? Let's see. Sweet, so you guys must remember that this week, that the fruit of the Spirit is love and joy. And we'll be back again next week to add on one more fruit of the Spirit. And don't forget to send me pictures of your lovely craft of hearts. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be so much better than my one. My one is very plain because I don't have a lot of coloring pencils but I'm pretty sure you can make a very good one. So get your parents to send me the pictures of the craft that you made this week. Cheers.